up? I'm Freaky, and this is Daniel, and you are checking out Windows Down Magazine. It's great. It's uh, it's the biggest like cultural uh difference we've ever experienced. Like we've done Europe a bunch of times, in the UK and stuff. Japan was very, very cool. Yeah. It was a very it was unique um, culture shock. It was crazy. Like, the reaction? Was not even like the reaction, just like daily life there is like, I feel like the closest to being on another planet. Like just the way they live life is just yeah. a whole different sort of speed than here. They respect trash, which is the cra- I, that sounds mean. But it's crazy. they respect every little thing in life, like not only people Damn. and music and bands or whatever. They respect the spirit of like the nature, the air, cool. the earth, even trash. Like our friend, the only time I saw a person litter was my friend had to throw like a can away. He didn't want to just like crumple it up and dump it on the ground. He had to like aesthetically like set it somewhere somewhere nice looking so it like blended with the surroundings. It is crazy. Yeah. Very it's pretty crazy. Okay. Um, it's definitely harder than like if I were at home, just going to a grocery store and getting whatever. But luckily, everyone in this man's really nice and considerate, and like we won't go to McDonald's every day because there's not a lot of vegetarian options. I think it's um, really cool that Daniel is vegetarian because it helps me and everybody else in our band eat like switch up our palate of food, you know what I'm saying? It's not just always like, I personally like, I'm a carnivore. I don't like vegetables, I don't like <laughs> any, I just straight up just like steak and chicken and cheese and stuff. That's but true. it's cool, so I hang out with Daniel and I try things like tofu and I try things like other vegetables and mm -hmm. other unique dishes that I probably wouldn't try on my own. It's two ends of the spectrum, truly. Yeah. It's cool. Um, I think like, Four years or something like that. It yeah, it's hard. I someone's making fun of me for this the other day. I have like a ton of oatmeal and like applesauce on me at all times. Like my big, big bag. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Every time I see you, you're eating. I, yeah, I just bring a lot of food with me, which helps a lot. But yeah, it's it's difficult because the convenience is like the biggest issue for being vegan or vegetarian in American culture because it's so oriented around you know everything having meat and cheese in it as a meal or an entree or whatever so it can work it's just also hard. part of Daniel's diet he can't eat dairy products so oh. it's tough yeah it's even dip even more tougher right? but sometimes you have to break down and get the ice cream <laughs> Um, I'm in a band called Mindset and Praise and, and Angel Dust, and uh, all those bands are bands I like a lot. Uh, turns out included, they're all like pretty unique and like different from each other, and cool to play in and be a part of like uh, the respective writing processes. So uh, yeah, I don't know how to describe them in a few words. They're all kind of their own thing, you know. I'll describe it for you. It's, well, I guess it's a, family. a giant family. It's taught all the bands that he plays in and all the projects that Brendan has a hand in. Like, all the people in there are like just regular, like friends that keep in touch all the time. So it's like not even really a bunch of separate bands, it's just a bunch of people playing different styles of music. Yeah. Like you just respect that one style, like you come out with this. You, you play in one band that has one style and then you complete like I watch him every night he's filling in for backtrack on his tour. I watch him every night turn from a backtrack drummer into a turnstile drummer. But then I've also seen him as the mindset drummer. And those are all different versions of Daniel, but all everybody is always like in the same area hanging out, doing that. Like it's like it's a very uh what's the word? cohesive, is that a word? Yeah. It's, not, it's, it's definitely not. uh yeah it is. Synergistic too. There we it's go. It's like synergistic. everything works together. We're like Trapping the Rice is a big part of our family too. Like he's been Trapping the Rice crew for yeah. years. Still am, straight up. Yeah, and like we all just respect and adore 
each other's bands. So we all want each other to do our own thing and succeed in, in, in whatever um, goals we have as a band and remain uh, like creative and productive. And we never like step on each other's feet when doing so because we all support each other so much, which is I really feel like cool. Bands are giant safety net. It's cool. Yeah. It's a, and he's ideas on everybody. He's a rapper too. I like. I can't write a good punk song, but I can write an electro song, or something like that. So that's where my talents fall a little short. Dive onto my head on the first song. Hopefully, I just go <laughs> unconscious the rest of the time. I feel that. Mm -hmm. that sentiment. Yeah, we actually just recorded a new LP with our friend Will Yip in Conchahawk in Pennsylvania. And uh, it was the coolest recording experience I've ever had so far. So I'm really excited about that. But probably won't come out for a while. I'm excited about it though. Um, Actually, much different than our past releases because uh, up until Nonstop Feeling, we did everything exclusively with our friend um, Caleb, who lives across the street from Brendan. Like, actually, just right across the street uh, in the town where they grew up. So, they were all like basement recordings uh, in his little home studio. Um, and for Nonstop Feeling, we went with Brian McTurnan, who had done. Uh, a bunch of Diamond Youth recordings and actually an Angel Dust re recording too before that so a lot of us already knew him, we're friends with him but a lot of us like looked up to him because he played in this band Battery from DC which was like legendary um, hardcore mm -hmm. band and he's just done so much cool stuff so um, went with him and it was great it was like a month long experience so everyone was just cool. chilling like had a comfy chair, a comfy rug, great chairs. We stretch, exercise, record, <laughs> eat good. Eat the yeah. Thai place downstairs. Oh, Thai, dude. Indian Family dinner every night. Thai food. It was, it was definitely great. So it was like huge step up. Not step up. It was a huge difference from I think like. It was just very much. It was a lot more uh, calculated and plan and like plan. Yeah. Than the other two, like everybody took their time per like. Every all the parts of that of the newest record were under a big bigger microscope. Like the first two records were just like just DIY. Like oh, we wrote these cool songs, and our friend Caleb was like, I can I can get the sound close to what you want, and it's cool to have pride and like having your friends do stuff. Like we try to keep almost everything that we do within our like friend circle because I mean a lot of our friends are extremely talented people. So it was cool to work with somebody that we. Um, value and respect your opinion so highly and could also get like a real like big full sound out of every issue the real sound and he pushed and he's like brian is so cool he just like would push you to do better like every time like you could play like daniel could play it perfect every time but he's like do it one more time could you get perfect oh that's it like brandon was listening to like at that time period, he was listening to a lot of Tribe Called Quest. So there was like, I feel like maybe that had some sort of influence on his like cadences and some accents and his vocal patterns on the record. But as far as anything else, I don't know. We all listened to like the craziest for like, if you got in the van, you could hear Kesha or like Avril Lavigne <laughs> or you could hear like Carl Cox or you could hear like Bankroll Fresh or you could hear Bat Brains or you could, like, there's no, the musical taste in the band is like everybody will listen to anything because if somebody doesn't know it, then they'll at least be receptive to it for one listen. Yeah, that's a good point. It's like hard to pinpoint a couple bands because I guess the influence just comes from everywhere. Like Dude, is everyone this in this band here? listens to a lot of stuff. <laughs> yes. Where's the scraper? Yes, where's the scraper? <laughs> where's the scraper bike? We're in the bed. Oh. The box. Oh, I gotta kick it at the speaker box. That sounds tight. Dorian. Dorian. Let's <laughs> get it, baby. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, forced order a new record. Uh, 
I'll, I'll show you this real quick. <laughs> I, I have a. I use everybody in the van as a voice. I miss my dog all the time. His name is Shug. So mm -hmm. I have like a huge album on my phone of pictures of him, oh. and I have an Instagram account of him. So I just look at pictures a lot. Oh. See, there's a lot of Shug pictures. <laughs> so it gets me through the day, you know. I love Shug. <laughs> yeah. I live. I eat well. I am from like five and a half hours away from everybody else. Oh, wow. So like for the last six plus years like straight up there for real my family like I would have to be at their houses there's always a new adventure or something to learn every day everybody challenges you in the RV in a different kind of way or like offers some objective thinking I don't know uh, I think John D did right? John D did Oh yeah, he did both of them. He did? No, no, the I think one. Justin did this one. Oh, you're right. Justin, Justin Gilman from yeah. Diamond. Yeah. You know? Our friend from Diamond Youth, Justin, the singer, he did this one. He did the Egyptian man. Which is actually very Justin. If you look at it, that's just, yeah. it screams his, cool. his vibe. He loves that apprehensive, weirdo I love that vibe. guy. And uh, our friend John D, who does uh, well-fed clothing, he, mm. uh, he did a lot of our stuff, including the circle dancing man thing and like the he turnstile the tribe. tribe yeah he's done a lot for us he's helped us a lot for a while. Yeah. that's what i'm saying it's so cool like how cool is that like all of our friends have something like always have something to bring to the table yeah we're lucky to have sure a huge cool bartering friends. system family <laughs> mm -hmm. i like san francisco because my brother lives there oh. And it's just really cool. It has a lot of it has Cineholic, dude. Which they have it at Berkeley too. Oh wait, that's where it is. Yeah. What's the sandwich place that we went to? Ike's. Ike's. That's my spot. With the hot voodoo there. chips. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, I like the, I like San Francisco too. Straight up. Last time we rented Segways. Oh the yeah. Last time we were here, we got Segways. That dude. was the highlight of our. That was awesome. Bay Area experience. I crashed. That? We crashed Segways on a freeway. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hopefully this guy will never. <laughs> Uh, Hopefully never see this, this interview, but <laughs> we rented a bunch of Segways from this dude in San Francisco. That was the funnest thing ever. And uh, I don't think all of them made, him, made it back in one piece. I seen Brendan very jump a force there adventure. on a Segway. Yeah. <laughs> Some collisions. That's my favorite part of Northern California. That's <laughs> great. Segway. Segway. Segway land in San Francisco. Yeah.